Hi, I'm George from Agaya. This video explains how the shipment folders are organized, provides tips for customizing the names and orders of the folders, and tips for working with shipment documents to help your workflow. By default, Magaya includes folders for exports and imports. These folders are labeled outgoing shipments and incoming shipments. Clicking the arrow next to a folder will expand it to show the contents inside. This can include subfolders, shipment operations, and documents. The folder list you see here may also be called a tree view. For this video, we will use the terms folder and subfolder. You can organize your folders to best suit your workflow. Saving shipments inside folders will also help speed up your system. In this example, we organized our shipments by year and mode of transportation. Other options for organizing folders may include using customer names, destinations, or numbers. Managing shipment folders in Magaya is similar to managing folders and files on your local PC. You can copy, cut, paste, delete, or rename items in your folders by right-clicking. To add a new folder, shipment, or document, right-click the desired location and select the option. You can also rearrange your files and folders by right-clicking and selecting either the Move Up or Move Down button. The right-click menu has many options to explore for the top-level folder, the shipment transaction, and the documents inside the shipment. The documents are automatically linked to the shipments, and the shipment will automatically update the documents. When you create shipments, you can add documents from this Documents button in the Shipment toolbar. But did you know you can automate what documents you want included any time a shipment is created? Go to Maintenance, Configuration, Shipment Documents, and add them here. Select a document and select where you want it included. For example, if you always want an air waybill included in every air shipment created, configure that here. Now, let's examine a shipment to understand how they're structured in Magaya. Here we have a consolidated shipment in our folder. This shipment is comprised of a master shipment at the top level, a list of documents associated with the master, and a house for each customer. To see the documents inside a house shipment, click the arrow next to the shipment name to expand it. Click the master and the houses to see details of each. To see all of the cargo for the entire shipment, view the master by clicking Master. Note, if you are already in the master shipment, this button will be grayed out. In Magaya, updates made to individual houses will also be updated in the master shipment. For example, adding cargo to one house will also add that cargo to the master shipment. You can add houses in different ways. Right-click the shipment in the folder list and select Add Shipments and select the option you need. Or, add a house by clicking the arrow on the Houses button and select the option you want. This enables you to create one house or many with the wizard, or load houses from online shipping orders sent from LiveTrack to your customers. The folder Received Electronically under Miscellaneous will hold all shipment transactions received online from LiveTrack when your customers send you shipping instructions. They are also visible in your Magaya inbox. To break an existing house into subhouses, click the Break Down into Subshipments option. You can now use shipment folders to keep your data organized and easy to use. See our other video for more on working with shipment lists and to get the most from your Magaya system. Thanks for watching.